In this video I'm going to show you how to replicate or duplicate a project or a portfolios page. Um, there's two steps to this. If you don't have the duplicate option there, I'll show you how to install it. If not, you can skip on. If you do have it, you can skip on a bit to how to actually duplicate things. So on this site, to duplicate, you'd go to projects and or projects or portfolios, depending on what it's called on your site. And then you'd hover over it. If you do not see the option for duplicate, we'd have to go and install it. So how you do that is you go to plugins, add new, and use the search box on the right to type in duplicate. And then I use the Yoast duplicate post one, install. And then activate. This will then install it here, then go to settings and just make sure that the, um, the right type of pages are ticked so that you can duplicate stuff and the permissions are right. So on this one, it's currently letting you duplicate posts and pages, but it's not letting you duplicate projects. So what you'll need to do is just tick projects and then click save changes. Now, when we go to projects, all projects, and we see the dummy one here, you hover over it and you can see clone now. So we press the clone button and you'll see it's a draft here. What I usually do to stop it from having the same name is press quick edit and then we, can't, we, we change the name of it. So we change it from dummy project to test clone one and then press update. Then go into edit on the clone and you'll see here it's bringing some of the information from the old one. What you want to do is tick the category it needs to go in for this new project. So if you've got different categories for say new builds or renovation projects, you'll tick the right one. So if this new one's going on, you just want to copy the layout and not the actual content. You untick new builds and then just put renovations. So it goes into the right category. And then I'm assuming that this featured image here will not be the correct one for this project. So we want to replace this image and say this is the correct featured image for this project or you can drag one onto this area and you press set featured image. Now what you'll do is you'll just publish this or save as draft. I'm just going to publish it for the purpose of this and then I'm going to view projects on the front end because now we want to edit the content within the project to make it match the new one you're listing. So to edit the content on Divi, you go to Enable Visual Builder. And then to edit the modules, everything's all the modules are in grey. So this one's a grey one here. So we go to the settings cog. You can see the titles, dummy project. This is test clone one. And then you've got some dummy text below that you can edit. And then on this one as well, we've got the background that you can also edit. I'm just going to put this image as a background so you can see it's a different one. And then you've got two other sets of word in here you can edit. So you hover over it, go to the gray section and you can edit that text, making sure you press the green tick afterwards. Same here. And then they've just got a small gallery at the bottom of this page that you, um, that you can also edit and press plus, drag new images in, add whatever images you want into the gallery, just making sure that you press the green tick at the bottom and that adds, that adds in there. So you can change all the information on the designed page that you're cloning. And then when you're finished with your design, you go to the three dots and then save. And then you wanna exit the visual builder at the top and that page with the same design as the other projects is up now. As you can see, it's different from the one we originally cloned, which was this one. So this was the original project.